So my friends in chapter 1038 we saw a green repair in front of Zoro. And this green repair looking guy was about to attack Zoro. And this thing is going on in Zoro's mind. And in our mind too, brother, who are you, and what is all this going on? For Zoro and for his character development, the Wano arc has been an awesome arc. And a lot thing is going on with Zoro in this arc recently chapter 1036 Zoro and King's fight was just concluded. Then Oda Sensei did something new with Zoro and this guy who looks like a skeleton. So who can be the skeleton looking guy or the death repair, and for that I have many possibilities about it. The first possibility is related to Zoro sword enema. And it could be that the green repair is the physical manifestation of the Zoro sword enema. And this manifestation is manifested in the inner world of Zoro. And I am not saying like this. The first time we saw this in Skypiea arc when God Yusup saw the spirit of the going merry ship. And it will make more sense that we saw in the manga chapter 1033, when Shimitsuki Kazaburo was talking about the Enma sword. So he introduces this sword for the first time like this. Shimitsuki Kazaburo says I created a sword, and named it the Lord of the Underworld. And it was an epic introduction. And in the same chapter Shimitsuki Kazaburo tells Oro that each sword has an individual personality. And that each sword differs from the other. If one piece can have ship spirit then, why not sword spirit? After defeating King Zoro said, if I have to become a lord of the underworld or king of hell then I will become. And in the fight that happened between King and Zoro, Zoro was not able to tame Enma, and it was kind of learning experience for Zoro, how to control Enma's sword. And in that fight, Zoro realizes that there is something missing in him, that's why Zoro can't control Enma's sword. So just as the spirit of the going merry ship came to repair himself, it is possible that the spirit of Enma itself has come to meet Zoro. We don't know what's going on. But one thing we know Oda Sensei has something interesting for now let's see how Oda Sensei explain all this situation. And the other possibility is that Zoro is hallucinating about the entire scene. The green repair and death reaper who is seen in front of Zoro doesn't even exist in reality. All this is going on in the mind of Zoro, because as we know, the drug that Chopper gave to Zoro. To make a temporary recovery to Zoro. The massive side effect of that drug was that, when the effect of that drug ends, then user pain means Zoro's pain will be double. So Zoro is hallucinating because of having more pain. So friends as we saw in manga chapter 1038 we saw Zoro and green repair for the first time. But at the same time one thing came to my mind that how was Zoro in his consciousness. As we have seen in One Piece manga chapter 1036 that Zoro was on ground after the fight between him and the king and he was bleeding profusely. And that's why Zoro is still not in his consciousness. All this is going on in his mind. And if it's all right, then Frankie will come to save Zoro. Because Frankie is nearby Zoro and Frankie was searching for Zoro as we saw in manga chapter 1038. So Zoro will be rescued by Frankie and Frankie will take Zoro straight to the chopper. And the third possibility could be that it is actually a green repair. As we know there is a demonic theme attached to the character of Zoro. And we don't even know how Zoro does nine hand summons in a sure mode. And the last possibility could be that it is our skeleton boy Brook that Zoro is hallucinating him as a death repair. Oda Sensei using this character green repair as gag. It will be disappointing for us if this character is Brook. We are very hyped up with this character now if Oda Sensei will use this character as gag. So friends that's all from my side. If you have something interesting theory about this character you all are free to comment in comment box. See you all in next video.